Hi guys! Today I thought I would do a tutorial that's been really highly requested lately. And that's probably because I've been wearing it a lot, which is because I keep refusing to wash my hair. So this is a perfect like second or third day hairstyle when you're just not feeling doing anything else to it, but it still looks really cute and like you put an effort in, but I swear it is so easy. I've done this a million times in the past, but this is definitely the easiest way I've ever done it. When I do a crown braid, I usually start here and then braid all the way around and then just tuck the tail in over here. But this way is a lot easier because you don't have to track it all the way around your head. I just do it in two and then you pin it and it's much easier. I promise this is a super easy look, but if there are any questions at all, just leave them for me either on my Instagram on a post or on this video and I'd be happy to answer. So let's get started. I'm gonna go from, this is third day hair now, basically scrub status, but I wasn't feeling washing my hair again, so it's a little greasy on top, so I'm just going to use some Fakai Blowout Dry Shampoo again, but use any kind you want, it doesn't really matter. I just split spray, and then I just scratch it in, I guess is the best way to say that. Massage it in, we'll say that. Whatever, use whatever word you want. And I just kind of do this all throughout on top of my head. Okay, so now that our hair is not sticking directly to our scalp, I'm just going to brush it through. And I love the tangle teaser. The small bristles really help it get through your hair without tearing through it. I'm going to part my hair um, where I usually do. So if you usually part your hair in the middle, I would suggest at least starting a little chunk back on the left and braiding over, even if you have a middle part right here. That's totally fine if you want to leave the majority of it, but I would suggest starting this on the side a little bit. Um, I think that it looks a little better when you're done rather than starting right in the middle of your head, but it could be done either way. It's totally up to you. That's just not really how this tutorial goes, but you can change it however you need. And because I have T-Rex arms and my sweater sleeves are just way too long, I'm going to go ahead and roll those up. I mean, I assumed you wanted to see my hands in the video, but if you just want to watch a sweater <laughs> braiding my hair, I mean, that might be kind of cool too. We're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to actually go a little bit further in and... It doesn't have to be exact, but I try and make it look at least decent, so that it doesn't look like a crazy like spike over here or anything like that. And we're going to start a Dutch braid from there. So we're going to split this into three parts, just like we started the pancake Dutch braid tutorial. That is what this is, it's just in the crown afterwards. So there's one, two, three. I'm going to start from the back, under, under, under from the back and then start adding hair. And then as you can see, I'm just kind of pulling from maybe here about my crown and forward for the front of the braid because we don't want to go too far to the back of our head because then it will lay a little funny once the crown is going all the way around. So for the front braid, you're just going to add pieces from the front of your head. And then when I get down to my ear, I like to leave little pieces out. You can leave as much or as little out as you'd like though. And then once I get to my ear, I'm going to braid that the rest of the way down. Before I braid the rest of the way down, I'm going to stop about halfway like I've done before and then start pancaking it because once you get all the way to the bottom of your braid, it can be a little difficult to pull it out. And at the bottom of your braid, you'll just take a little elastic. I usually do take this out before I pin it, so you can use any hair tie. This is the front of our hair completely pancaked, and we are going to just leave that alone for now. Start my other braid 
down at the bottom of my ear or the top of my neck. to braid down the rest of the hair, stopping to pancake as needed. Once you check out the back and make sure it's all where you want it to be pancake wise, I usually pull the left side over. So this hair is going to be a little loose as far as the braid right here, and you're just going to push that against your head and then pull this over. Just position that however you want it. Um, you can pull it closer to the front of your head if you want. I usually put it behind the first braid that we did. And like I said, you can take out this hair tie like I usually do, or you can leave it in if you'd like. But you're just gonna take a few bobby pins and tuck that under, and then put a pin in. So then from there, you'll just want to secure it as much as you need. My hair is not very thick, so it doesn't take a lot of pins for me. But if there's any odd pancaking that's going on, you can hide it right now with your pins as well. And then I will just take my other side and wrap it behind me. I do suggest grabbing a mirror so that you can see where you're placing this. But then I take out the other hair tie and I usually pull it taut to where I want it and then I put a few pins in. And then from here, you can tuck this into this braid if you'd like or you can tuck it under into the other braid. It's totally up to you and what where it fits the best. And we're just going to spray all the way around the braid. So that's the finished look. You guys have been requesting this a lot, so I wanted to give you a tutorial for the easier way I found out to do it. There are so many ways you can do this, but I think that this might be a little more user-friendly one, and it definitely works out better for me. So if you have any questions, please let me know, and if not, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys! Maybe. Not if it ruined my makeup. Ow. And you're ready for the day. And if for some reason you're doing this with just clean hair, maybe you can skip this step. But who has clean hair anymore? I feel like clean hair is like so 2013. Before I bre breast, obscene, obscene and insane. Those are uneven. Even now.